Hey Naturally Glam Fam, it's your girl Jana and this video is the 2012 favorite bag. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you guys some of my favorite things that I loved in 2012 and I got the tag from Mac Barbie so I'm just going to answer the same items that she had in her video and feel free to do the tag yourself. So here we go. So my favorite face product was the Fit foundation by Maybelline. My favorite cheek product was this blush by e.l.f. and this is Blushing Rose. It's the color. It's like a deeper pink rose color. My favorite eye products, number one is the Prestige Eyebrow Gel and Filler and they're both basically, basically like a mascara for your eyebrows. And I absolutely love that. I got this from um, Dwayne Reed when I was in New York for Fashion Week. Love this. It's Brow Perfection is what it's called. Next is this Lash Stiletto uh, Mascara by Maybelline. And it's funny because at the beginning of the year I wasn't really a fan of it. But I came to love it for like everyday wear. So I, it's a go-to mascara. Um, and I really like it. Last. Thing for eyes products, eye products is the NYX Butt Naked Eye Shadow Palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's very, um, the colors are all neutral, but you can do like daytime looks. You can do smoky eyes because they have darker colors. So it's like a go-to um, if you're looking for neutral colors, kind of something that will go with everything, but you can smoke it out for the evening or you can keep it light for day. This is a great palette and I loved it also because it has like the little blush and bronzer highlighter and everything also. So it's a great palette to travel with. My favorite lip products. Well, as far as lipsticks go, I had two that were my go-tos for this year. This one is by e.l.f. and it's called Classy. It's like a very soft new pink and then I had this one by NYX which is in the color NYX and it's like a orange color and I absolutely love this one for a summer it's like really bright and sunny. Another product that I love that I can't show you because I can't find it anywhere is my Nail Keto Creations the Balm Lip Balm. And okay, this is the Nail Create Creations card. It's all I could find. I could not find the actual lip balm, but I absolutely love the lip balm. <clears throat> it's all natural. It lasts forever. Your lips feel super moisturized. It's only like five dollars, but literally, I've had one of the lip balms for almost a year and a half, and I still have the same one. And it's just as nice as when I first bought it. They smell great and absolutely love it so definitely check them out for skincare products my favorite skincare products are these equate which is the walmart generic brand makeup wipes these rock you get 40 in the pack for only 2.99 and they're very gentle at least on my skin they don't leave my skin irritated like some other makeup wipes that i have tried i absolutely love these makeup wipes for a nail polish this um, color by Simple Colors is a, like a taupey color and it's Nirvana. And this is my go-to um, polish for the year because I'm more into neutral colors on my nails because I do um, type a lot. I'm home, I'm on the computer, I'm on my phone. And then at work, I'm on the computer all day. So if you wear a darker nail polish colors, of course, they're going to chip. So I like more new neutral colors so that, you know, if a little bit of it is chipping, it's not as noticeable because you don't want to look unprofessional with half of your fingernail polish coming off. It looks bad. So anyway, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites for the favorite color of the year. The next runner up is a color called Bevin and it's by Zoya Nail Polish and it's like a mint green. I couldn't find the bottle, but that was definitely like my number two nail polish color. I love that mint green. Hair products. Okay, so I had a couple of them. 
so I just can't say one. I, you know, natural hair, you know, you just can't name one favorite product. I can't anyway. So, hands down always will be Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Then, I also have felt in love with the Curls line, the Curl Souffle, which is like a cream moisture, both cream moisturizers. I love them both. And they both smell really, really great. And then, I also love this year these this OBI product line. I got the Curl Moisture Cream and the Curl Enhancing Custard. This is like a cream moisturizer and then this is like a, a gel, a all natural gel for a whole. I really love these two products. And then some stuff that I love that I can't show you because I don't have, because I don't have any more, is the um, Eden Body Works All Natural Deep Conditioner. Huge fan of that this year. Also, Trust and Made Naturals Moisturizing Conditioner. Huge fan of that as well. Also, the Ampro Pro Style Olive Oil Gel. I was a huge fan of that for my wash and goes and defining my curls. Absolutely loved it. For body stuff or like perfume I'm not big into perfume I tend to just wear like really nicely scented lotions and stuff that's sort of my thing I just like to smell fresh you know so my favorite body product is the shade moisture lotions it doesn't really matter which one because I love them all this is just so happens to be the one that my husband and I have right now we both kind of fight over it and this stuff is amazing. It's nice and thick. Your skin is moisturizing. It has a great scent. And typically, it's a scent that either a man or a woman would smell fine. You know, it's not it's not a feminine smell. So that kind of works for us because we both can use the same lotion. Also, another body favorite was the is the Nail Keto soap body soap it is amazing the smell on it is amazing literally the whole time I was using the nail keto body soap I we never had to use air freshener because you know it can, the bathroom you know how things go down and we never had to even spray because the scent from this bar of soap would perfume the bathroom it was amazing we were so upset when that soap finally ran out I was like man <laughs> that soap smelled so good but it wasn't like an overpowering burn your nose scent it was just a very nice light scent oh and we absolutely loved it so that's my next hands down body product and a runner up to my nail keto soap is definitely the Shea Moisture Body Soaps because they're they're all natural again just like nail keto is all natural and it's a huge bar you can get it and I think it's only like five dollars and they last for months and months and months so those are my favorites for 2012. My favorite clothing piece for 2012 has to be the Miley Cyrus Collection Leather Leggings. I only paid $3 for them on clearance and leather-like leggings were really on trend in 2012 and I was rocking these bad boys. absolutely love them. As far as accessories, one of my favorite accessories is this button bib necklace that I got from Style Identity absolutely love this necklace is really a statement piece and I just love it for sort of like everyday necklaces I'm into owls I really got into owls in 2012 mine are a little bit obsessed um so I love this um large owl necklace I got this from gofavor.com for just like two dollars and then this one I love this is sort of like that the other hour sort of where this is like my professional hour and this is sort of like my weekend kicking it out because it has the little nerdy specs so I absolutely love this I got this from forever 21 um, for maybe like two bucks or something and last for my favorite accessories is this other hand um, made piece that my girlfriend who owns the final touch jewelry she made this for me for an event that I was going to be um, I was speaking at and it's sort of like this chain that she has threaded the thread through. Oh, there you go. That's a better view. Yeah. And it's a, whole, it's a necklace. And then to match, at my request, she made me these little rope detail studs. I absolutely love this. Her thing is um, using the rope to make the necklace and earrings and stuff. And I said, why don't you make some studs? She made... Then I said, you can call them the Naturally Glam <laughs> Final Touch Rope Studs or whatever, though. So, um, 
So the, here they are, and they're so adorable. I just absolutely love them. Now she has a, a whole bunch of different colors and stuff on her website, so check her out. She's doing 50% off of, on her website, so I'll make sure I put the description code below. Go check her out. Let her know that Ashley Glam told you about her, you know, and that's all good. As far as my sh favorite pair of shoes, hands down, are these Oxfords. I love these shoes. I wear these shoes probably... Out of a work week of five days, I probably wear these shoes three out of the five days. <laughs> I absolutely love them. They're comfortable, but they're very, you know, they're cute and sort of dressy, but very comfortable. So I love those. Next up are my brown boots. I got both of these shoes from Oatlook.com, by the way. So these are some flat brown boots, but they go above, a little above the knee, and they have the little lace-up detail in the back. And I absolutely love these because they're very cute, and they're comfortable because, of course, they're flat. And, of course, when it's cold, even when it's not cold, though, you I throw these on with, like, a little dress, and just as good. Okay, so now is the part where I just talk about random things that have nothing to do with beauty, makeup, fashion, or anything like that that were favorites of mine for the 2012. So, my favorite TV show or movie. I'm not really into movies. I don't know if I have a short attention span or just because I have so many things going on in my mind that I'm doing that I can't concentrate and sometimes I'm ahead of the game with certain movies. So I, I tend to, after about 30 or 45 minutes of watching a movie, I get restless. I wanted to hurry up and get over it. I already kind of know what's going on. I know she likes him and eventually they're going to be together. Or I know who did it if it's like a suspense, you know, who done the type of movie. I figured it out sometimes like in the last first 15 minutes of the movie, I already know who the villain is, who's behind it all, or, or whatever. And so I feel like I'm just waiting for the end to come, even though I already know what's going to happen. So I'm not big into movies, but I love TV shows because they're short and they at least have a commercial break so I can, like, you know, think about something else. I don't know why I'm like that, but it just is. So I have to say my favorite TV show is Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives because I'm such a foodie. I absolutely love food, but I try to watch my health, so most of the things I see on TV, I know I'm not going to eat because it's just laden with fat and all types of bad stuff. So that's all how I get my foodie fix is by watching like diners, drive-ins, and dives. And a lot of times the cities that he goes to are right here in my area and nine times out of ten I have never heard of the place. So it's kind of cool to watch it and I hope that I see somewhere that's close to where I live and I go check it out. So that's one of my favorite shows. Hands down my favorite um, sitcom type of show is really old school. It's the Golden Girls. Listen, if you don't watch the Golden Girls, if you watched it back in the day when you were younger as a kid, trust me, you so much of the jokes went over your head. If you're like in your late 20s and 30s, go back and watch Golden Girls. I'm telling you, it's hilarious. I don't remember it being that funny when I was younger, but that's because I was too young to know what they were talking about. Now that I'm older and I know what they're talking about, hilarious. And also, I love watching What Not to Wear. That's one of my other favorite TV shows. Okay, a favorite book. I can't lie, I'm not big on reading books. Um, I'm just not. So, probably I have to say the Bible because it's probably the only book that I read on a regular basis. In some way, shape, form, or fashion. My favorite food, um, kale. I've really been in love with kale this year. Actually, has been a go-to green for me, whether it's put it in a smoothie or mostly I'm sauteing it. I usually put spinach in my smoothies because kale does have a, has a taste where spinach really doesn't add a taste. But kale, I love, I, I cook kale at least once a week. So, absolutely one of my favorite healthy foods. Um, pumpkin pancakes. I have the box for this. This comes from Trader Joe. These pumpkin pancakes, oh my gosh, they are uh, amazing. And I'm not a big pancake eater. I'm not a big bread pancake. I'm not big on that, but I absolutely love those pumpkin pancakes. Seafood, of course, fresh seafood, hands out, is always going to be my favorite. Almonds, like I've been really into almonds this year. You know, just because I'm trying to eat healthy, so I've been really trying to set my almond game up. And dried mangoes, I don't have them because they have a lot of sugar in them. So I'm trying to avoid 
eating a lot of sugar so I didn't even buy the dried mangoes because I can't just eat the little bit of full the little serving size I, I can't just eat that much I have to like eat a lot of them so I didn't even buy them so but for 2012 that was hands down I fell in love with dried mangoes had never had them before but absolutely love them my favorite beverage you guys probably already know it's my herbal mate you can see the bag all is all jacked up but it's like a tea but it's got like way more antioxidants and stuff than regular green tea pepsi max hands down was my favorite for 2012 as far as beverages go and my favorite song for 2012 is adoring you by miguel i absolutely love that song they could play it all day every day and i would never get sick of it i just love I just love that song. Absolutely love it. So that's my favorites for 2012. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. And do the tag if you want. Alright. Bye.